Hello everyone. This is Victoria from Blue Hand Arts, and uh, today I'm going to um, to do the Gumby paintings background. I'm going to um, dye this. Um, what's the color? Um, let it become the background. It become the silk like. Uh, in Chinese, we call it light antique. Uh, color and uh, the color I'm going to use uh, is the the first is the gamboge I'm using the uh, Marie Chinese painting watercolor the number is 218 gamboge and uh, this is very cold yellow right and uh, add a little bit of the second color is the uh, vermilion um, the number is uh, 399 and then a little bit stone green. Um, this green is light uh, stone green. The number is 593. So those. And a little bit this. And then a little bit, a little bit um, ink. ink. This is not the real amount. I'm just sure this is the ink. And uh, to make the uh, antique yellow, I mean antique color, light antique color for the background. Um, you can see um, the project I'm doing is the um, Magnolia. Um, and I trace it first. After tracing, uh, I dyed the whole thing background. The reason I'm doing that is because the when you trace, use the original the color, uh, you can see more, see clear, see more clear. So after this, um, I use ink to do that. And a few hours later, when it dry, I dye it. Okay, now um, to make the uh, color. Even there is no proportion for that exactly. However, no people to weigh it or to measure it, right? Even very experienced expert, they need to do this, you know, for a few minutes at the just, and uh, then try on the real paper to see if the color is correct to your eye. So vermilion. And uh, um, let me gamboge and a little vermilion. Okay, and the brush I'm going to use is this uh, flat brush, but soft hair. Um, so um, the brush because I need to um, dye the whole background I mean the whole thing um, so the flat brush uh, and the soft one um, try um, as less we don't want the stroke trace you know try to make it even to wet the brush first this is a clear water Very cold yellow, right? I think need more vermilion. Okay. And then a little bit green. Got too much green. 
くね And I use water dropper to put a little bit of water and then control. Because the colorful background, you need, need to be very, uh, very thin, very light. A little bit more of a minion, I think. Let's see, you know, even you call it um, light antique color, but what's the antique color? There is, you know, each person consider a little bit in a different concept. So to your eye. <laughs> the total amount um, for the size I'm working on uh, is like about computer size, A4 computer paper size um, it's like you know one to two teaspoons but lots of you know water on the on my brush that's about the color try on exactly the same paper you know to see the color try like that um, when it dry it will become a little bit um, light you know so it seems a little bit too cold huh actually for this black I mean for this white um, flower uh, some more green Yeah, I don't want it too brown, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Back and forth a little bit more. See when I do this, some water out. <coughs> okay, remember I said a little bit ink. Just a little bit. Because ink is very, very... So I even use my small brush. I do not dip my brush there. So even one drop 
of ink dust a lot. Should be very cautious. I use I try you see this bit. Okay, yeah. More depth there. Try it again on the same paper, and same type of paper. More of a minion. Uh, do not uh, ex expect one time you got the exactly the you can target the correct uh, proportion okay okay i think that's about the uh, color i want okay then i'm going to put on the mm, paper uh, since the display like this way, I'm going to um, to brush it this way. I'm my brush is going to go this way. Okay, uh, try to do even and not uh, you know not too much water. You need to do that, do that, and uh, try one time to cover it. Because there is trimmed the paper, I mean the treated, use the an alum, and uh, if back and forth too many times stroke, it will damage the paper. Damage the it will become unsized. Okay, try to do it. I put the felt underneath see it's tint The very edge on the side, no problem, because um, when you frame it, you cut it or, you know, it's under the frame. It's a thin layer to you know, just tint it.
think it's pretty even, huh? I can even do this. <coughs> okay, yeah, but if you leave it, it just look fine. Yeah, um, actually, people do not tape it <laughs> like a four size. Um, you won't let it move, you know, um, to otherwise uh, cannot get it's bumping <laughs> and cannot get the even uh, thin layer of background color. Okay, um, that's how I do this background uh, overall. And later we, we are going to um, work, I'm going to work on the white for the petals or any colors. Um, the white color is an opaque, will cover this background uh, light. Uh, and, the, and the antique color uh, this time. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.